So you're syndicating content, but do you know of your site's ranking or the syndication partner? Or maybe it's another site downstream that's scraping the syndication partner. Do you have any idea? And not just across Google services, but across AI search like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, etc. Well, I'm going to be covering that topic today. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. So today I'm going to be covering syndicated content and its impact across AI search tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity. Um, in 2023, I did a similar study, but for Google services like the 10 Blue Links, Google News, the News tab in Search, Discover, etc. It was super interesting to dig in. And basically, it was a mess, right? There was no rhyme or reason why one would rank over another, whether it's your site or the syndication partner or Yahoo or MSN or some other site downstream scraping the syndication partners. It, it was a total mess. Usually, both URLs were indexed and there was no rhyme or reason why one would rank across all these services. And it was usually split across those as well. And I even saw like logo problems where... The, the wrong logo was showing up with the with the uh, wrong article. So there was lots of weird stuff going on. Um, I wrote a post now that I just published um, to focus more on AI search this time. So the first thing is you could actually go and check out my article from 2023. It might be good to actually start there so you see how it impacts Google services <clears throat> and then go to this post, which covers AI search. So... Uh, the methodology that I use. So I took nine different publishers that were syndicating content. Most of them were to Yahoo or MSN. Uh, but again, there's, you know, sometimes sites are publishing to um, or syndicating content to a number of publishers outside of Yahoo and MSN. Or there are sites scraping Yahoo or MSN that could end up ranking as well. Anyway, so I checked um, Google surfaces for those sites. So what was ranking in the 10 blue links and AI overviews. Um, in the news tab, in Google News, etc. And then I checked ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and Gemini. Um, again, very, very interesting stuff. So the first thing I wanted to cover is just the influence of traditional search rankings. So we know that um, there's a ton of overlap if you're trying to rank in AI search tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity and Gemini uh, with SEO, right? So if you're doing the right things, becoming an authority, become you know building your brand, uh, writing great content, um, over time that can actually help with ranking in AI search, right? But um, for this study, it was really interesting to see that that wasn't always the case where it followed what Google was ranking, right? And Google was all over the place, by the way, with um, which version it was ranking. So it kind of makes sense that that would kind of um, blend over to AI search as well. But I just wanted to quickly cover that. So let's go through some examples from my testing. Um, you know, they say uh, a good picture is worth a thousand words. Um, well, I have several really good pictures for each example here that I think you'll get it pretty quickly. So I have four different examples. Let's run through them. So the first example, um, so in Google services, in the 10 blue links, the syndication partner ranks, Yahoo, as you can see here. So the original content, not ranking. And these are not little publishers, by the way. It's not like, you know, they're, they're small niche publishers or anything. These are, you know, mid-sized to large-scale publishers that are syndicating content. Um, then in the news tab, um, the original content ranks. So already you can see a discrepancy there. In the AI overview, neither URL ranked. That was interesting as well. And in Google News, the original URL also ranked. So kind of all over the place with Google services. Then in AI search, ChatGPT, the original URL was cited prominently. Right, so in the answer and in the citations, in the main sources. Great. In perplexity, the third-party syndication partner was cited prominently. Yahoo Finance um, was ranking number one in the sources. Um, and then in the sources panel, um, in that view, you could see Yahoo Finance there. So you could see up in the answer, Yahoo Finance, um, and then in the sources panel, them as well. The original article was not there. In Claude, um, the original URL was cited but Claude was saying that it failed to fetch the content. So I wrote a whole separate post about JavaScript rendering and how that can cause massive problems with uh, ranking in AI search because the AI search tools don't render JavaScript-based content. Um, I don't really know what was going on here, but it's worth noting that this happened. But at least the original content was, was signaled here um, and cited. And then in the uh, answer, the original content was there too. 
Um, in Gemini, neither you are always sighted. So again, a weird, weird uh, kind of glitch and problem there. So let's go to example two. In Google surfaces, in the AI overview, the original content seemed to rank. I thought it was the original content, but it wasn't. It's another site that picked up the syndicated content. So it was naming the original source in the snippet there, but it was like a third party. So it wasn't even the, the first syndication partner that I was looking for. Um, again, something that can happen and worth noting. Um, in the 10 blue links, the original URL ranked. Great. So isn't that weird? So in the AIO, a third, you know, like three levels down publisher that I guess either is another syndication partner or scraped the syndication partner ranked. But in the 10 blue links, the original source uh, ranked. Uh, news tab, neither URL ranked. And in Google News, similar to the news tab, Google News didn't return much for the query. So it was kind of um, a, a weird one there. So let's jump to AI search for the second example. In ChatGPT, the original URL cited and third party URL did not rank. So you could see here right in the answer, the original source and number one in the sources. That's great. In perplexity, again, the third party syndicate syndication partner ranked. And again, it was Yahoo Finance, right? Um, so that's not good for the original source. In Claude, both URLs were cited and they were listed side by side in the answer. Super interesting, right? Um, so just, just again, showing just the weirdness when you're syndicating content on how these tools, including Google, um, kind of pick this up and what they present. Um, and the source listing shows both, right? So the syndicated content and the original content, both there in the 10 results. Um, so Gemini, neither URL was cited, but no sources were cited at all. And I've, by the way, I noticed this several times while testing Gemini. So I need to do more research there, but it seems like Gemini is not actually dishing out sources as much as the other AI tools. Um, when I changed the prompt site slightly to more of a question, uh, Gemini did cite sources and the original URL ranked. That's good at least. But I definitely had to kind of tweak the prompt there to have it more question-like. Um, okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of confusion so far with the first two examples. Let's go into the third. Google services. In Google search, the syndicated URL, the syndicated URL ranks number one in the AI overview and number one in the 10 blue links. So that's amazing coverage before the syndication partner. Um, in the news tab, Yahoo also ranks number one. So the original source, not cited, um, not listed and not ranking. Google News, even though the syndicated content ranked across other Google services, the original content ranked in Google News. Again, this is all over the place. This is all you need to see, right? So it's like in other services, right? You have the syndication partner. And then in Google News, for some reason, you have the original content. Great for the original content and the site owner, but um, not great across other Google services. But let's jump into AI search. So for ChatGPT, the syndicated URL is cited as the source, but in the more section, and I covered this in other posts, it's not in the core citations, it's down in the more section. And there were two URLs from Yahoo there, one related to the topic and the other, the actual syndicated content. In perplexity, like ChatGPT, the third party URL is cited as a sort, source, and um, also like ChatGPT, there was a second article from Yahoo about a similar topic. Um, so there you go. So you have two Yahoo URLs there. And then uh, this is just the sources view. Again, both, both um, Yahoo articles listed there. Um, kind of interesting to see. Then in Claude, again, both URLs rank and they're side by side in the answer. So it's just Claude going, hey, it's the same article, but let's put them together for everyone to see. So kind of weird. It's, you know, it's good coverage for the content overall, but maybe not the greatest coverage for the original, um, which is splitting time here with the syndicated content. And in Gemini, neither URL was cited, but the sources were super interesting for this prompt. Check this out. Perplexity Finance was cited several times by Gemini and filled up the entire sources list for the most part. There was one other site in there. So as you can see here, perplexity ranking all over the play, place here. Kind of interesting. And what I said is it's something to watch out for if perplexity expands be, uh, verticals beyond just finance, right? Um, so if they get into other areas, maybe perplexity starts getting cited by Gemini all over the place. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it was really interesting to see this. 
Um, an example four, the final one, and I saved the final one because it's the unicorn. Um, so this site, the original owner, site content owner, um, ranked across everything, every time. The syndication partner never showed up. So I can't say why this is happening, but it was really interesting to see. So here in Google Services, the AI overview, the original content ranks number one in the AIO and number one in the 10 blue links. In the News tab, it ranks number one in the News tab. In Google News, it ranks number one in Google News. Again, a unicorn. Um, in AI search, ChatGPT, the original article ranks in the answer and in the sources. Perplexity, the original content ranks um, also in the sources panel. Um, and in Claude, the original URL was cited but ranked below other sources. The syndicated content didn't rank, but still the original content was ranking there. So again, this is, uh, oh, sorry, I missed Gemini. And in Gemini, not only did it rank prominently, but other articles from the same site were ranking along in the sources panel. So again, this was a total unicorn. I can't explain why it was happening. Um, you know, just interesting to see. And again, the results overall are all over the place. So you have to understand this if you're syndicating content. Um, so I ended the article with just some recommendations for site owners, right? Um, so there are ranking challenges for the original publishers. That's obvious. So um, if you really want to limit the problems with your visibility, try and no index the syndicated content. That's a big ask, right? And you have to get that into your contracts. Um, but that's the best way to make sure that your content's ranking and the syndication partner does not steal your visibility, essentially. Um, canonicalization does seem to help based upon my research, but it's not foolproof. So again, a lot of times both are indexed, both can rank across Google surfaces and AI search tools. Um, so if you can't know index, definitely try and canonicalize to your original source. Um, and again, negotiate these with your syndication partners, right? If you can, in the contracts, make sure at a minimum you have it canonicalized to your content on your own site um, and no index the syndicated content if you can. Um, I would definitely run through this analysis just like I did, but for your own site, right? Run through a lot of examples, see what's going on across Google surfaces and then across AI search tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity and Gemini and Claude. Um, you might be surprised with what you see. You might be a unicorn. I definitely surfaced a unicorn as I showed before. Um, or you might not be and you might be on the other side where the syndicated content ranks across everything. Um, but anyway, run your analysis document everything you can so you could see over time what's going on. Maybe things change, right? Maybe um, the core systems on these AI search tools are changing and suddenly you start to rank more or the syndication partner starts to rank more. You won't know this unless you really dig in and start to track it and documenting, document everything over time. So that's it. So I hope this helped. If you're a news or media publisher and you're syndicating content, understand that just like with Google services, rankings and visibility it, are all over the place. You might rank, they might rank, a third party down the line that scraping content or another syndication partner might rank. It's really hard to say. So dig in, see what you find. And again, subscribe to my channel. Make sure um, you don't miss any future videos. I appreciate that. Um, and until the next video, good luck.